Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon video. Today we're going to show you how to capture Tapu Fini in Pokemon Sun and Moon. This is the th fourth and final of the Tapus to capture in Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you'd like to check out my other videos on catching Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele, and Tapu Bulu, go ahead and check those out. I'll put them in the description as well as at the end of the video. So please enjoy. Now, Tapu Fini should be a little easier, at least to find, than Tapu Bulu was. Tapu Bulu was a pain. And we'll show my team composition as we do. Now, we've got something interesting set up here. So, normally I have a Synchronizer. I currently do not have a an Abra with a bold nature with Synchronize. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something else that I saw online as a suggestion. Apparently, if you have a Pokemon with a specific nature, at the front of your party and it is fainted, then it'll take that nature into account if the synchronized Pokemon is the second in your party. So we're gonna see if that works. I'm gonna knock out my Marini, or we're gonna battle something, let it knock out Marini, and then we're gonna go into battle with a fainted Marini at the front and, and a synchronized Abra second in command, and we're gonna see if that works. I also have Tapu Koko, as I do. Tapu Fini will actually be easier to capture than Tapu Bulu as well because I checked its description and it knows the moves Hydro Pump, Muddy Water, Mist, and Nature's Madness, which means the only real damaging moves it has are water type moves. So I have my level 1 Vaporeon with Water Absorb because it, it won't be able to kill me. If it keeps spamming Nature's Madness, my Vaporeon stats will be cut in, or HP will be cut in half, but it'll never die. It'll only be cut in half from what I have. So, a level 1 Vaporeon is going to be able to absolutely wall a level 60 Pokemon. Any Pokemon with Water Absorbs with water absorb should allow this, um, or a Pokemon with the Storm Drain ability. So, to find Tapu Fini, you're going to fly. Uh, we are here at Sunset on Seafolk Village, and the water is pure orange. I know that the light is supposed to be reflecting off of it. I mean, the sky looks beautiful, but it looks like we're just, like, right above a river of cheese. We're going to fly to the Ruins of Hope on Pony Island, and these are located off to the side. We've already visited them with, with Hapu in the story. So we have arrived at the Ruins of Hope, and through the magic of editing, we have a fainted Marini in the front with the Bold Nature, followed by a synchronized Abra. So let's go ahead and enter the Ruins. Looks like this puzzle's already solved, which is perfect, so we just walk right through. Don't mind us, we actually came here with Hapu and Lily, so we already solved this. And here we are, at the Ruins of Hope Shrine, so let's go ahead and save the game. And battle Tapu Fini. Mr. Fine! <laughs> That's what that makes me think of. You reached out and touched the statue. Tapu Fi! Here we go, the final Tapu. Is it going to be shiny? It's not, but this is a cool Pokemon. It's it's a very cool looking Pokemon. Um, it looks like a mermaid in a shell or something like that, or like a marlin or like a dolphin of some sort. Really neat. It's going to summon the Misty Surge, the Misty Terrain. I believe that cuts the damage of dragon moves in half. Once again, we're just going to throw an Ultra Ball here. Because, you know, Abra is going to die anyway, so... Might as well try. We caught Tapu Lele in one in one ball. And looks like that's not going to be the case here. So it's going to use Aqua Ring. Okay. Maybe I read that wrong. Maybe it, maybe I read its moveset wrong. Let's throw another Ultra Ball here while we're at it. Okay, yes. I was incorrect. It does not know Mist. Um, but it does know Aqua Ring. It knows Hydro Pump, Aqua Ring, Muddy Water, and Nature's Madness. And it's going for Nature's Madness. That's actually good for us because it means that Abra is going to continue to stay out here. Well, maybe that's bad. I think we do want Abra to die at this point. Uh, I'm just going to throw a net ball just, just because. I mean, this is a water type, so maybe this will help. I just don't want to switch into Tapu Koko and have the Tapu Fini go for an attacking move and damage my Tapu Koko. I want Tapu Koko to enter the battlefield with full HP. Because that'll make it a little easier for it to withstand hits and, and survive, survive uh, some damage. I don't know. Let's go into Coco. And 
Again, we're going to go for the Guardian of Alola Z-Move. This one takes a long time, <laughs> but it's it's cool. I mean, we've seen it so many times at this point. We've used it so many times at this point. It's a classic. Kill it. And then as we do, we're going to spam Nature's Madness. Now, here's the awkward thing. This Tapu Fini did, in fact, use Aqua Ring. So, that is a little bit annoying. That might provide, or that might prove to be a major annoyance in trying to capture it because it is going to be restoring HP every turn. And the unfortunate, the most unfortunate thing is that we, despite the fact that we're going to continue to whittle down its HP with Nature's Madness, it's just going to keep recovering a little bit. So, I think after, I'll use Nature's Madness one more time. And then I'll start throwing balls again until it gets to full, and then we'll try all over again. Luckily for us, it is continuously using Nature's Madness, so it's not going to- Oh, mine missed. I just saw Nature's Madness, and I was like, oh cool, it, it used Nature's Madness and it missed, but that was mine that missed. That is very unfortunate. Uh, let's just try to throw a ball now. I know it's not completely weak, but you gotta try. Oh man, this, is this one going to be as hard as Tapu Bulu? Tapu Bulu took a lot of, of balls. Oh no. Oh no, this thing is going to get to like full health. Again, it's not going to be able to kill my Vaporeon, but if it's at full health, then it's going to be much, much more difficult to catch. So Vaporeon is my saving grace at this point, which is kind of funny. That's kind of hilarious because it's level one and it's, it's not going to be taking... Well, it's not going to be dying, that's for sure. It, it will be taking damage, but it won't die. Oh man, so I'm going to keep throwing net balls and it's going to keep recovering HP every turn. Here's one. Alright. There we go. So that's what we're using the water absorb for. I'm, at some point I am going to have to revive Tapu, Tapu Coco. But we can't use the Guardian of Alola move anymore. Maybe I'll take a risk with Tapu Koko and use Discharge. And I don't think I'll kill it because uh, Tapu, Tapu Fini has really high special defense. So that'll hopefully give me the chance to paralyze Tapu Fini. Which will make it a little easier to catch. This thing is definitely a nuisance though. I'm going to cut ahead to maybe a more eventful part of the battle if it's just going to keep breaking out of netballs. So if I catch it anytime soon, I'll just cut ahead to that. Alright, so I finally captured Tapu Fini. Sorry I didn't show the little animation. So let's take a look at its Pokedex entry. So there we go, we completed the Tapu collection. It took me about 20 balls, like... 10, uh, 10 net balls and probably about 10 ultra balls, but that's not that bad, I guess, but finally got it. Land Spirit. We got them all. It is a Land Spirit Pokemon, literally. The, def the dense fog it creates brings the downfall and destruction of its confused enemies. Ocean currents are the source of its energy. That is... That is intense. I will not give it a nickname right now. And that is it. We captured Tapu Fini. So that's how you catch Tapu Fini in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I might say it's the easiest one to capture because when you fly to the ruins, you've already kind of solved the mini puzzle. You just run right through, battle it, and you're good to go. Like I said, if you have a Pokemon with Water Absorb or Storm Drain ability, you can absorb all of its water attacks and you'll take zero damage from them. And you can just repeatedly throw Ultra Balls. I might also recommend a Pokemon with Taunt. Or any way to prevent it from using Aqua Ring or from restoring damage from Aqua Ring. Because Aqua Ring is a big nuisance. When I captured this Tapu Fini, it was actually at full HP. Because Aqua Ring had allowed it to regain all of its health. So that's a really big annoyance. Be, be aware of that. It will be using Aqua Ring. You can easily wall all of its attacks, but... You know, it's going to be a really healthy Pokemon. I, I recommend putting it to sleep, paralyzing it, whatever you can do to help yourself capture it. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if this helped you out and if you enjoyed. Also subscribe for more Pokemon Sun and Moon videos. See you soon.